Okay, let's get started. We're going to cover a whole lot about Class Kick today, getting started to finalize it, posting it in Schoology to checking student work, the whole thing. So let's go to a new blank assignment. <clears throat> and I want to do the biomolecules pogo. And then as soon as I'm ready to type here, I realize, you know what, actually, I just want to import the file. So go to camera, upload from computer, find the file, which is right here, open it. Now it notice it has five pages. I want to import them all. So I just select import all, or I could choose which ones. Now see, if I said import all and I change my mind, I could delete individual pages. And then I'm going to click finish. Watch my page number go up okay, as it's importing those five pages. Once it's complete and it's all up, it's all uploaded, uh, I'm going to go back out of this screen and show you those five pages are there. So here I have a page where I just might want to use this as directions. Okay? I like to highlight or use a background for my directions just so that it stands out a little more. Um, I tend to use a consistent color so students know when they see a background in this color, it means it's directions from me. Okay, so work with your group to complete the pogo, use the pen, highlighter, microphone, or whatever tools are needed to complete your work. Do your best. Okay, now you are ready to go to the next page. All right, so on the next page, I'm going to look. This first one is just reading, okay, and information. So nothing students need to do here. Here is question. I might want to make a little note. Um, the pen or text box, oops, box tool are best here. All right, so I might just give them a little tip. Okay, and then I'm just going to scroll down. And right here, so this one, it says list as many as can. You know what? I think I want them to record their voice here. So for this, for number seven, record an audio of your answer. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. All right, looks good. Uh, keep going here. Looks good. Let's see what else do I need to do. Um, oh, here, this is what I forgot. Right here. Raise your hand so I can check before going on. So I am going to go back because that's what I forgot to put. I usually like to put those for all of the stop signs. So anytime there's a stop sign, I'm going to enter this comment. Now I probably don't need the font so large, so I'll just decrease that size a little bit. Okay, so that it actually fits nicely here. Okay. So let's just move this, perfect. All right. So go back, where else was there a stop sign? Nope, that was it. Okay, so I only missed one. So again, this allows me to stop. Okay, again here, I can decrease this font. It does not need to be so large, but that should be the directions every time there's a stop sign. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to this page, which is blank. And what I want them to do is kind of a matching activity. So you see, um, if I go back to the first page of here, we have carbohydrates, we have lipids, we have proteins, and we have nucleic acids, All right? So I wanna go to this page, which is blank, and I wanna upload from the computer. I wanna do this again, okay, but, 
I don't want the whole thing. So what I want is I just want them to do a matching activity. So I'm going to select this. Okay, that kind of is a little off on that. There you go. I think that's better. All right, so next. And yes, I went on the current page. Go next. I want to select, oops, except for I don't want it to say the word lipid. So I have to, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's go back. I don't need this beginning part, so let's just do this. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's better. Go next. All right, add another. All right, let me pause it as I add the remaining two. Okay, finish those. All right, so now they're going to insert all right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is just click on this. Um, resize the move these a little bit. Okay, I click and can click on it and resize them as I need to. Okay, this one is probably a little on the large side. There we go. Same with this one. All right, so now I'm just going to mix these slightly. Okay, so now I'm going to give directions and say, um, label each bio molecule, move the correct word to the right of the image. <clears throat> okay, so now I have to add the correct words. So here's where I want to use this. Okay, add manipulatives. And I want to select the file. I'm going to go back to the same file, unless I had another um, document where that would work. Okay. And all I want is the word. Okay, so that's fine as an example. All right, so let me pause as I get the other words. Okay, I have the rest of the words. I'm going to click finish. Okay, again, these get populated. The only reason I can tell they're manipulative is you see that they have the those two squares in the corner. When I click on one of these images, you don't see it. Okay, here's the last one. All right, so I can put these in whatever order I want. I just have them up here. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to assign it. Okay, so let's go back. And okay, this last page I didn't need, so I'm going to delete that page. Okay, so here we are. Now I need to assign it. I need to assign it to a roster. Okay, so I'm going to create a new roster. And this is sample two. All right, fine. Okay, now I can add students to it, okay, to the roster by clicking on view work and click manage roster and I can add students. So I click on basic and I make students enter first name, last initial, okay, and a period, comma, all right, um, in this case, all right, so um, period, you don't have to add them at a period. I just have them do that way. Um, okay. A comma in between each one. So I'm going to add them. You see, there they go. It populated. Okay. Um, and I go here to lock options. Lock the roster and single device login. So they can only be logged in on one device. And it's locked, meaning students are going to have to enter what I told them, which was first name, last initial, period. Otherwise, they can't get in. So um, that's it. That's just how I do it. And so now it's going to show me these are all the students in the roster, and I'm just waiting for them to start work. And notice it's all grayed out. So let's click on Assign. Let me show you how to actually assign it. 
So I'm going to copy this link. Okay, I'm going to go to this site, iframe-generator.com. Okay, for this, I'm going to enter 900 as the height and 600 as the width. I found that to be a fairly good size. Control V, I'm going to paste this in here, and I'm going to click Generate. Now I don't do anything except copy that code down here. Now I'm going to go to my practice course, and I'm going to add a page. And this is going to be biomolecule holding. All right, so enter your first name, last, we'll say first name, and last initial followed by a period to join the assignment. Now I want to switch to HTML, hit enter, and paste that code I had. Leave this alone, click create. When I go here to the biomolecule POGL, here it is directly embedded in Schoology. So let me show you from a student end what that looks like. So I'm going to go to my student account, log in, here we go, go to my course, and I'm going to look at the biomolecule POGL. Okay. Now remember, if I type my name, Melissa, uh, so students not on the roster, see, they have to follow directions. Uh, Evan, C, let's see if they don't enter capitals. Soon as he puts the period, capitals don't matter, okay, uh, you can get it. Once you're in the assignment, uh, you can do it right in Schoology. No need to go anywhere else, okay? Move on to the next page, okay, move on to the next page, and uh, I can add a text box right here, okay, type an answer, okay, I can use um, the pen and write an answer, I can use um, the eraser, I made a mistake, okay, and so I can go to eraser mode, this is highlighter, so if you have directions where students need to highlight, there we go. Here's where you change the color, All right? In order to do the um, raise hand, right here, click raise hand, please check. That's what they would do, okay? So now let me go back to the teacher one that I have and view work. I can see my student progressing through this. I can see a hand is raised. Click on this, takes me right to where this work is. I can check it, easy peasy, okay? I can see all students, all slides, or I can just say, I want to check all of slide two at the same time. It would pull up every single student, slide two at the same time. Okay. Um, really good for group work, individual work, giving tests, practice work. You get to see student progress live. So watch this. If I go back to um, edit. Okay, and I wanted to add a direction here. Okay, so please follow directions. This was after I assigned it. Okay, so if I go back to my student and I go to, I close, close it with this menu, I go to that page and there it is, the direction. So I can type back and forth. We can respond to each other in these messages here. Live progress, very easy, integrates super seamlessly with Schoology. Give it a try.